Let's start with Hubs and Authority, the page ranking algorithm for big data analytics. Hubs and Authorities is a part of Hyperlink induced topic search, HITS, also known as Hubs and Authorities. It is a link analysis algorithm that rates the web pages developed by John Klingberg. Now, this algorithm finds out what is a good hub and what is a good authority. A good hub is represented as a page that points to many other pages and a good authority is represented as a page that was linked to many other hubs. If you see over here, it is a simple example and that we will see in the next slide too. So, these are the hubs, these are the pages which are linked to many pages and authority which is linked to many other hubs. This is how my hubs and authority works. Let's take a very simple example to explain the concept of hubs and authorities. To identify the best hub and authority for the given adjacency matrix, calculate the hub and authority score using HIT algorithm for k is equal to 3. The adjacency matrix given is as over here. Now, what are the steps that we need to follow using the HITS algorithm to find out the best hub and the best authority and also find their scores. For the given adjacency matrix which is given over here, we find the adjacency matrix with the node that is it is a 4 by 4 matrix. So, we have the nodes labeled as N1, N2, N3, N4 that is in the rows as well as in the columns. Now, after having this rows and the columns named, what we do next is we design the graph for these nodes. Now you will see that graph for these nodes are designed in such a manner that as there are four nodes, we have placed the four nodes over here as N1, N2, N3 and N4. From N1 we take over here to whichever node we are going that is the out degree of N1. So from N1 we go into N2, N3 and N4. So this is how my graph is designed. You will see the three out degrees or the out arrows which are going from N1 to N2. The arrows are over here 1, N1 to N4 and N1 to N3. Second it is created from N2 to N3 and N4. So from N2 I am going towards N3 and I am going towards N4. From N3 I move towards N1 that is out degree over here. N4 sorry N3 to N4 again. So we move here. And from N4 to N4 itself, it is over here. This is how the graph with the nodes is created. Now, what do we do next? When after having a graph with the node created, this is a simple ranks which can be even created to test your answers. We have the simple rough layout way of creating the hub and the authority. The hubs are the out degrees of your nodes and authority is the in degree of your nodes. So, we can rank these hubs and authorities and find out and check in the end whether the ranks of my hubs and authorities is correct or no. It usually gives us the approximate answer. From N1, we have three nodes which are going out 1, 2 and 3. So, the out degree of N1 is 3. In degree, there is only one node which comes from N3 to N1, so the in degree is 1. This is how we will make the table of ranks without degree and in degree. From N2, I have two nodes which are coming out, one node which is coming in, N3 is again 2, in degree is 2, N4 is 1 and in degree is 4. So, this is how it is creates and it creates a rank which says that rank using out degree and in degree for the hub it is N1 because it has the highest number. We create from highest to lowest. So, it is N1, N2 and N3 have a tie over here because both have the same value and then N4. And for N degree, it is N4, N3 and there is a tie between N2 and N1 over here. This is a normal ranking that we have created with the out degree and in degree. Now, let us see how we created using the HITS algorithm. There is an adjacency matrix which is given over here. The first step is to create a transpose of it, converting rows to columns and columns to row and it is given the name A raised to the power of T. After creating the adjacency matrix, you can see A, there is a transpose of A again 
as the initial hub weight vector u is not given to us in this particular problem we take the initial hub weight vector u as equal to 1 and we proceed with our example if it is given then we have to use that value and continue so we find the authority weight vector v is equal to transpose of the adjacency matrix into the hub value so this is a transpose matrix multiplied by my initial weight vector of hub I get this authority value it is we do a matrix multiplication over here the simple matrix multiplication and the output is 1 1 2 4 the hub updated weight vector u is calculated as the adjacency matrix A multiplied by the vector V that we got in the previous slide so this is my original adjacency matrix multiplied by the vector value V we get the hub value U and this is my hub value after getting the V and the U value now what do we do we create recreate the node graph that we have created initially with the hubs and the authority value that we got with this value that is known as k is equal to 1 this is my node graph for the value n1 n2 n3 and n4 we can again rank them with the k is equal to 1 so what happens is with this graph over here for value k is equal to 1 this is my hubs which are listed over here these are my authorities which are listed over here and with this hubs and authorities I create my rank for k is equal to 1 and these are my hub scores which is listed over here and this is my authority score which is listed over here so if anybody asks you to explain what is hub and authority and its map with the value k is equal to 1 then we are supposed to solve the problem till here with k is equal to 1 listing the ranks of hubs over here in the order bigger to smaller and authorities again bigger to smaller and these are the hub scores so for the value k is equal to 1 if it is given this is the final answer but we have been given k is equal to 3 so we will move ahead now this will be taken as the initial values for k is equal to 1 we have calculated hub and the authority values let's see how we proceed further now we calculate the new authority from k is equal to 1 and it is calculated as whatever is the value if we move towards the previous slide for a minute if we say authorities is 1 1 2 and 4 so this is my value 1 1 2 and 4 which will be used over here to calculate the mean which is 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 4 square is equal to 22 this is a formula by which we have to calculate the new v1 we say 1 divided by square root of 22 1 divided by square root of 22 however that 1 is coming it is coming from here this is the equivalent values 2 divided by 22 4 divided by 22 square root of 22 so this is the new values that we have got for n1 n2 n3 and n4 so this is our new authority value when the value of k is equal to 1 similarly we calculate our new hub for k is equal to 1 and the values which were there the new hub values which were calculated were 7 6 5 and 4 so again we do 7 square 6 square 5 square 4 square is equal to 126 we calculate the new hub values over here and this is my new hub values for the nodes n1 n2 n3 and n4 now we again draw the diagram for k is equal to 2 this is my nodal diagram for k is equal to 2 the values that we had got and this is how we created after we have created the diagram we write down the hub values again in the table if the k value was given to you as 2 then you have to write down the hub scores are these the authority scores are these which are listed in the table we can write the answers in the form of table hub ranks are given as n1 n2 n3 and n4 and authority ranks are given as n4 n3 n2 n1 there's a tie between n1 and n2 as we have to solve till k is equal to 3 we move ahead by taking this as an initial value for the next level we calculate the new authorities and if you will see the new authorities we have summed up it comes to 0 0.999 we calculate over here I'm sorry this will be V 
2 this will be v2 and this is how it will proceed further new values for k is equal to 2 this is u2 this is again u2 and this is how again we calculate with a value from k is equal to 1 and you will see that the values that we have got over here if we move to the next slide it is similar to what was there in k is equal to 2 that's why we've written it k is equal to 3 2 but this is what we've got similar so this will be now I'll be modifying it in front of you as 2 and now this is similar to what we have got for k is equal to 3 so if you'll see that the values of k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3 are same they have approximately come to the same values so when we proceed further what happens now k is equal to 2 is similar to k is equal to 3 values so that is what is similar to that's the reason I have not mentioned over here so that I can show you over here it is 2 and 3 have the similar kind of values it is approximately similar if you will see in the variable when you do the calculations even the single point does not vary so the hub score at the level k is equal to 3 and k is equal to 2 is same the hub value and the authority values are same and this are the hub score final hub score and this is the final hub rank and the final authority rank that we have got now you will see here if my value of k is was given as k is equal to 6 but when you are solving the problem and make sure that if your values are coming similar we can write down and conclude as the hub scores and authority scores have come to a consistent value the hub score and the authority score and the ranks remain the same whatever it is at k is equal to 3 these are the final values for k is equal to 3 if this example had to be done till k is equal to 6 then it has to be concluded with this statement now for k is equal to 3 as I shown that this is the value that I get which I said that I have approximated this is the final score that you will draw for k is equal to 3 and when I draw this k is equal to 3 score and the approximation table will be created again for k is equal to 3 as the uh, table for k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3 is the same so the final output will be written as hub value score the authority value score and the ranks over here and this will be the final answer which will be given for the hubs and authority score and the ranks thank you